Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate logos you've downloaded or it can work with icons into Illustrator so that you can edit them however you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Apple logo. So now that we've got the logo imported, um, I'm going to tell you there's two different ways that you can recreate the logos or icons or whatever. Firstly, you can go into Wim Window and then go down to Image Trace. And then if you just click on it, um, since it's a black and white logo, I can go black and white logo, OK. And then it's just going to do that. And then if I just hit expand, then you can see it's made it into its own shape. And it's actually got all of these different um, anchor points that we can move around um, and customize. So obviously that's making it exactly like what the logo is. However, if we want to be able to edit it um, completely and sort of I don't really like the fact um, that it has every single dot there um, but sometimes I just like say having a dot there and having a dot there um, and sometimes you just want to create it from scratch or maybe make it look a bit um, more hand drawn sort of uh, so I'll show you how you can do that so we've got the image here and we're just going to click next to the eyeball which will lock it into place so now we can't accidentally move it now if we just grab the pen tool and then that's right we're just going to start drawing and if you just click and hold, um, it'll curve the handle. So if we go right from here and just say click down here and want it to curve around in this byte, it's not going to work. What we can do is we can just hold this handle and bring it down sort of where we think. We might bring it like about there. And then if we go here, um, it's not quite right. But if we just bring that in, bring that in. But then what we've got... Um, is because it's trying to fill it in if we just click down here for the fill and click off and then we can see it much better so say we want it probably about that um, and I'm just holding alt as I'm moving the handles um, just so that only one of the handles is actually being moved um, and if you want to completely destroy the handles so say I'm going here and just die, um, then going to go like fully up you just hold alt and just click the anchor point and we'll keep that handle that you already uh, moved um, but we'll destroy the other one so now you can see it goes straight to a corner we don't want that there we want it to be a nice curve and we'll just hold alt as we sort of curve that one in curve that so now what you can see is I can sort of um, do like a rough job and I can have something that doesn't quite look right um, then if I just fill this in with black I might fill it in with a grey so you can see it so you can see if then we just unlock this and hide it we've got this sort of apple shape and now if you want it to sort of look like this then this is probably the way to go um, but if not then it's a lot easier just to go to window image trace um, also with window image trace say that this was a color drawing uh, logo you can go window image trace and then go to low fidelity photo I believe that's how you say it and then it'll just do all this to figure out where it's going to put those anchor points and then it'll keep that color as well or you can also change it in the mode whether or not you want that color but just be sure once you've um, traced it that you hit expand so that you can see and move those anchor points so if we have this now, then we can like turn off the logo and sort of just um, morph it to how we like. Um, and yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's sort of more of a um, me showing you how you can do something a couple of different ways. You may have already known these tools, um, but it's just some help as to how you can do that. Sort of went through those pen tools, um, sort of options. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.